Joining us live on First Post is Shri Tanidar, an Indian American congressman representing Michigan's 13th district. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Now, Congressman, firstly, congratulations on your re-election to the House of Representatives. What are your plans for your congressional district, especially with Donald Trump sweeping Michigan in the presidential election? Well, look, the problems are about um, improving the quality of life for all my residents, all my constituents. 26% uh, of my constituents live at or below poverty. So creating economic opportunities is job number one. A lot of what mm -hmm. I focus on is bringing federal dollars uh, to my district uh, for uh, roads and bridges. Uh, you know, a lot of investment need to happen into the aging infrastructure. We also need to create economic opportunities, giving people the skills they need to get good paying jobs, uh, giving the capital they need so they can start small businesses. So primarily the focus is uh, economic driven, primarily focus is to put money into people's pockets so they can take care of their families. Absolutely. Now, speaking of your victory, uh, this time six Indian Americans have secured seats in the house. It's a slight increase from the previous election. How big a role did the Indian American community play this year? Well, look, we are about one and a half percent of uh, America's population. Many of the Indian Americans are uh, very successful in uh, business, in uh, academia, in medicine. And uh, now Indian Americans have entered into mainstream politics. And this community is very, very important. It's not a monolithic community. We have among Indian Americans, uh, moderates and liberals and very, very conservative uh, people. Uh, so mm -hmm. there is a, it's a very divided um, uh, loyalty uh, to Democratic Party as well as Republican Party. And uh, the Indian Americans uh, in some states uh, where the winning margin is, uh, you know, less than 1%, uh, the, the role of Indian Americans and their participation in this election uh, is extremely important. And we mm -hmm. made sure that uh, uh, the Indian American community is excited about this election and they participate. Absolutely. And Congressman, Donald Trump has won a second term and the Republicans have also reclaimed the Senate and they are on the cusp of winning the House. Will this unexpected shift create a power imbalance with one party winning at all? Uh, that, absolutely, yes. Uh, Republicans do um, have a lot more power now. Uh, but at the same time, the Senate has a filibuster capability, which will help us uh, ensure that uh, Trump and the Republicans do not do things that would hurt uh, the American people. For example, uh, women's rights are essential. Um, a woman, for a woman to be able to choose um, her own medical treatment, uh, able to uh, choose to, uh, as far as uh, reproductive rights are concerned. And uh, Trump and the Republican Party often talks about banning and bringing a national ban on abortion. And that is something that uh, uh, Democrats will fight and will not uh, make that happen. So there are issues about uh, that we have strong disagreement. When we have an agreement, we'll work with the Trump administration and make things happen for the people. But when we have disagreements, when there are issues that we will not concede, that we will not compromise, we will fight with every power that we have to make sure that people's rights are protected, workers' rights are protected. Right. And we are seeing several Democrats, such as Nancy Pelosi, blaming President Biden for Kamala Harris's defeat to Donald Trump. Do you also think Biden's late exit from the election race negatively impacted Harris's campaign? And how is your party taking this loss? Well, I think uh, <clears throat> the problem here is that uh, many people are hurting. Uh, prices have gone up. 
you know, what people used to be able to buy for $100, for example, uh, four years ago. Today, they can only buy about half as much. Uh, the prices of eggs, prices of chicken, prices of every essential um, uh, goods have gone up. And that mm -hmm. is where a large level of unsatisfaction, uh, unhappiness comes in because uh, people have to make hard choices, whether they are to buy medicine or uh, heat their homes or put food on the table. And when people are struggling and, uh, you know, when the current administration, they hold the current administration responsible. So whether it was uh, uh, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris, uh, they are the ones uh, in control. They are the ones in power and people uh, uh, rightfully so uh, expected uh, them to be responsible for this. Now, a lot of work has been done by the Biden-Harris administration, but the effects of that have just starting to show up. Uh, mm -hmm. There is, uh, but people, the, the fact remains that uh, um, many people, you know, uh, the bottom 30-40% of the people are hurting economically, and that's what reflected in this election. Yeah. yeah. Even world leaders have called Donald Trump's return a historic comeback. So with Trump's second presidency, where is the United States headed? And what do you think the next four years will look like for Americans and for the world? Well, look, Trump talked about people's fears. He talked about uh, the economic uh... Uh, issues. Um, he talked about immigration issues. He talked about world peace. He said um, in the last four years, uh, the war in uh, uh, Israel, the war in uh, Ukraine. So he said under his uh, administration, such wars would not have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so now he has, uh, people have given him the power to make a change. And it, people would be watching how much is he able to impact? Uh, can he bring the inflation down? Can he find uh, solutions to the Ukraine war or the war in uh, Hamas-Israel uh, war? Uh, we have two more years and we have another elect set of elections for Congress. And people will not forgive him if he does not achieve the results that he promised them. And mm -hmm. Democrats will work with the Trump administration uh, whenever we can uh, to find common ground, to make people's lives better. But if Trump does not deliver, uh, the same people who elected him in 2024 will throw his party out of power in 2026. Right. Congressman, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being with us on First Post. Thank you for having me.